You need to go and leave our country. Muslims are attacking us. It is such a hateful, hateful ideology. They don't belong here. Intolerance and anger have gripped parts of white America. No Sharia law! Ignorance. Hatred. Sadness and confusion. Lack of understanding. And it frightens me. I'm so struck by the level of hate. When he says, you know, Muslim is evil. You ever wondered if he actually has ever sat down with a Muslim? That's not Christianity. How do we combat these types of hatred? The moment in the country was ripe uh, for me to be able to come to CTU and be a part of the Catholic Muslim Studies Department. The Catholic Muslim Studies Program offers courses to students in Muslim-Christian relations as well as Islam. Uh, it also provides programming for the public on interreligious dialogue with a particular focus on Islam. My purpose is to provide a type of training and education that's nuanced, that's not monolithic, and allow them to use that information to shape their own opinions. As Christians and Muslims in particular, we have a common foundation um, of belief in God that can give us a voice together in the ethical questions of the day. With uh, religion, there's a lot of um, cultural um, aspects behind it. There's a lot of different contexts. I knew that the attacks of 9-11 did not reflect Islam. But what I realized was I didn't understand what did reflect Islam. Being a faith-centered institution that CTU is, it created the space to have um, a safe space to have these kinds of uh, conversations. CTU emphasizes uh, the importance of uh, alternative thoughts, uh, different perspectives. You can uh, sort of hold up your own practices that you may have never questioned before alongside someone else's practices that seem unfamiliar, and it helps you kind of refine your belief. The Gospel teaches us that you judge a tree by its fruits. You judge the Catholic Muslim Studies program, I hope, by the incredible people who have taken advantage of the resources the program has to offer and who have gone on to do amazing things. One of our Muslim students went on to be a first Muslim woman chaplain in the U.S. Air Force. The Catholic Muslim Studies program was one of the sort of major forces behind the inauguration of what is now the National Catholic Muslim Dialogue. It's really important we take that platform and own the platform, but then also making sure we bring others into the room and those conversations are being had as well. When I started my studies at CTU, I witnessed what dialogue or interfaith activism truly means. Whether we're talking about Catholic-Muslim dialogue, whether we're talking about any form of ministry, outreach, our attempts to dismantle racism, all of those works for justice are deeply embedded in relationship with other people, experiences. It's not only learning in the classroom, but it's also interacting with those who are from a tradition other than one's own that really sharpens and deepens one's understanding of how to do interreligious studies and dialogue. And then they also have students uh, from these different religious traditions as well. I often heard that I was the first or the only Muslim person uh, that a lot of my peers had ever met or encountered or had the opportunity to ask questions um, regarding Islam and the Muslim faith tradition. So uh, in that way, it created for really fantastic dialogue. I did receive some questions that were quite surprising and shocking, um, but all with the, uh, the mindset that we're here to learn more about each other. I went to the coffee shop and in there was um, 
this guy sitting there. I decided one day to just go up to him and start talking to him. So, you know, we're introducing each other and names. And he, then he tells me that his name is Ali. At the time, I was taking the course, um, Introduction to Islam, and I had just learned that Ali was the name of uh, Prophet Muhammad's cousin. Without thinking, I was like, oh, like Mo uh, Prophet Muhammad's cousin, right? And uh, he just opened his eyes and he's like, wait, uh, what? And um, this friendship started. Every newly ordained priest asks somebody to face him. Very often we ask a priest, right, a senior priest to do it for you. So when we were asked uh, to uh, look for somebody, right, to do that, I said, you know, Saeed, I would like to give you the privilege uh, to face me. I was just completely blown away. And he's asking me as a Muslim to be part of that transition. I wrote an op-ed piece pointing out that his inaccurate explanation of Islam could cause people to be hurt. I was proud that I had the opportunity to speak out, but I can look at myself in the mirror and say, Alhamdulillah. God, thank you for giving me the opportunity to stand for my sisters and brothers. My vision for the future is that the Catholic Muslim Studies program becomes the hub for Catholic Muslim dialogue. I have a lot of hope that we can combat Islamophobia and anti-Muslim sentiments. I see it every day. I have the image of when you drop a pebble in the lake and all the ripples go so far that you can't even imagine what distant shores that dropping of the pebble will reach. They have that impact in making a, a strong, peaceful, and harmonious world together. We can reclaim new stories and do a better job of creating a stronger neighborhood, creating new stories and stronger stories to build a better America, to build a better world.